dear student as i promised in my last video today we will build a simulating model based on a temperature dependent lithium ion battery let me give us dear student as i promised in my last video today we will build a simulating model based on a temperature dependent lithium ion battery let me give you a brief overview of this simulation in this model i have used two lithium ion batteries one that include temperature effect and one without temperature consideration to simulate the charging and discharging process here i have used a controlled current source at the end of the simulation we will compare the performance of both battery in term of state of charge current and voltage so we can clearly observe the impact of temperature on battery behavior let's get started and build the model step by step so here you can see uh, as uh, the title is the lithium ion temperature dependent model so here the specification is given that uh, lithium ion battery specification here we consider lithium cobalt oxide so nominal voltage is 7.4 volt and its capacity is 5.4 ampere hour so here we are using constant uh, control current source and we are giving some step input so here you can see the step time is 2500 initial value 2 and the final value is minus 3 because by using this current source we will try to charge as well as the discharge of the both the lithium ion battery also here we consider the temperature profile like uh, zero in time when the time is zero the amplitude means temperature is 20 so here we consider the temperature variations from minus 20 degree to 20 degree okay so let's start so initially we have to take first lithium ion battery so just start it so in my previous video i already show you uh, the parameters of the batteries so here you can see in the battery is two terminal is there positive and negative as well as the measurement port is there okay so just i am flipping this battery you already know so i rotate then i will flip it up down okay so now here you can see the specifications that is the lithium cobalt oxide so in this first battery we are taking the temperature effect so here you can see one option is there temperature effect simulate temperature effect yes so i am giving t okay so this is the lithium ion battery now here you can see use a preset battery here lot of variant of the lithium ion battery is there so based on your specification or requirement you can choose any of there so here i am choosing as the specification given 7.4 volt 5.4 ampere hour so this battery lithium cobalt oxide battery i am choosing you can choose other based on the specifications so now i am choosing this one and here you can see temperature so initial cell temperature we are giving 20 because it is varies from 20 to 0 then minus 20 to 0 okay now i am applying now so here you can see one port is coming that is temperature so this is the battery with temperature effect okay now i am taking control current source control current c u r so here you can see control current so i am adding now okay now i am uh, flip okay 
so now I'm coming connecting plus to minus and plus to minus okay CCS control current source now I am giving to the input to this control current source this is the step input step so this is the step input so already specifications are given so here you can see specification as per uh, step signal step size 2500 I am giving 2500 initial values is 2 and the final values is minus 3 because we have to do both the process charging and discharging process in the lithium ion batteries because you know in the last class when the battery is charging current will be the negative when the battery is discharging current is positive okay so just I connecting the step signal now I have to connect the temperature variations so for this profile temperature profile you can use stair generator or you can use signal builder okay so here I am using stair generator stair generator okay this is a stair generator so now I am putting the values so here you can see time is 0 this is in the second 500 second 1000 second 1500 second 2000 second as well as the 2500 second and here is the corresponding their amplitude already given amplitude in terms of the temperature so when the time is 0 second the temperature is 20 when 500 20 then minus 20 then minus 20 and finally settle at 0 okay just apply okay now everything is ready with the battery with the temperature here we are giving the control current source this is the step input this is the temperature now we have to measure the battery voltage current as well as the uh, state of charge for that we are using bus selector I already told you regarding the last classes bus selector you know how to find add signals just double click it and remove this signal remove remove so here you can see ambient temperature that we are giving this temperature this temperature profile then cell temperature cell means internal cell temperature of the battery then we are finding SOC current as well as the voltage okay apply so here we are using this is for the battery one now we will build same type of process for the battery two without temperature so for easy purpose I just copy these blocks and paste here okay and this is the battery without temperature without temperature okay so what happened I have to remove or untick the temperature portion so here I am untick and what will be the nominal voltage so here nominal voltage will be 7.4 rated capacity is 5.4 okay and you have to tick this portion to calculate the other parameters in the battery then you have to apply now our second battery model is also ready and the control current source input step will be the same now we try to see our output for that we go for the scope so here the scope so here we compare voltage current and the state of charge in case of the both battery so the input will be two input so here you can see 
I am taking two input and also I just change the style so here font color white axis color white it will black then it will be looks very attractive so two and I am taking first one is as a black second channel X and blue okay so first channel white and the second channel then apply okay so this is considered as a SOC similarly I take for current similarly I will take for the voltage also we can check the compare the temperature difference like uh, ambient temperature how the ambient temperature varies with respect to the internal battery temperature I also compare this one so this it is for the temperature profile okay so this first two is the temperature here you can see this is the ambient temperature this is our the input temperature and this is the cell internal battery temperature and this is uh, now I am connecting uh, for the state of charge this is for the battery with the temperature effect here I also connect here uh, so here I have to change because here no temperature is there so that's why I have to delete or remove these signals so now in this uh, the battery 2 has only the three signals SOC current and the voltage okay apply okay so this is for the SOC for battery 2 and now compare the current so this is the battery with temperature current and this is the second battery this is the current profile and next is we want to compare the voltage profile so here you can this is the battery one and this is the battery two now the model is completely ready so here uh, the run time i am selecting 4000 second let's try to run okay so i have to check uh, take the power going now our model is completely ready so here you can see it takes lot of time because it is all about 4000 seconds but here you can see the runtime is t equal to 0 0.169 it takes lot of time to complete the simulation alternatively what I can do I can change the solver so here you can solver auto solver OD45 I will change uh, the solver then the runtime will be the very less and get the output within a fraction of time so for that changing for the change the option so here you can see this this portion click this option then you have to change the solver here I am changing ODE 23 TV and then I am applying okay now here you can see it will take only few seconds to complete the task otherwise if we choose only ODE auto then it will take more time so here you can see within a fraction of time it gives the output okay so let's open the SOC so here this is SOC this is the current profile it will be the same for both the cases this is the voltage profile here you can see and uh, this is the ambient temperature profile profile different profile based on that uh, battery parameter uh, one is the state of charge so here you have to remember when we change the style so there we consider the black one so black one is for the battery having the temperature and the blue one is the battery without having the temperature so here you can see so if if we if I am trying to zoom it so here you can see so the blue is without temperature so here you can we can conclude that 
the battery with the temperature the degradation rate will be the higher so black one is for the battery with the temperature so here you can see the degradation level is higher similarly in case of the voltage here you can also see the the black one is the lower so black one is basically for the battery having the temperature effect similarly current has the no profile same and also here you can see the ambient temperature profile as well as the cell temperature so black one is the ambient temperature that we are giving as the input to the batteries and the blue one is the cell internal temperature so here you can see how the inside how the temperature is varies inside the cell so these parameters are very much important for comparison purpose whenever we are you are taking some battery you can also change the battery here i am taking the lithium cobalt oxide battery you can also change the other battery option and check the effect of the temperature okay so here i am taking only the two battery you can take the more battery more capacity and check whether the soc how the soc how the voltage how the current is varies with respect to the temperature that's it for today's simulation if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment i will definitely reply stay tuned for the next video and don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and keep learning thank you